Okay, it's starting, right? Okay, cool, it is. Hello, so for the Anon who asked um, me to read a bit of my writing, um, first of all, hi, I'm going to do it. I, <laughs> admittedly, at first I was kind of like, this seems really pretentious. <laughs> I'm going to be reading my own words like, hello, listen to me, this is what I said. But like, I think it's actually probably going to be more like embarrassing than anything. And I'm going to just be like, oh, don't listen to me. This is awful. Because I literally haven't read this since I wrote it, I think. Um, so, oof. Oh, here we go. But I thought it would be a great night to do it, considering the fact that there's a blood moon eclipse tonight, and the moon has kind of been a theme for the night. I was at work, and all day I've been trying to see this thing, and then of course I missed it. Of course I missed it. Whatever, it's fine. Um, but then, like, right before I left for work, or left for home, I was going to my car with my friends, and then I was just stopped, because I was like, I looked up, and the clouds parted, and they revealed the eclipse to me, which obviously was a sign. And I was like, oh my god, the moon knows that I wanted to see it. And then I was like, wait, the moon knows. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And this person had wanted to hear this part read aloud. Um, so I'm going to try to do it. So I hope that I don't disappoint you. I just don't know. I'm looking for it. Because <laughs> like I said, it's been a long time since I've um, read this. So I don't really, or wrote this, I should say. Oh, I think this is it right here. Okay, where should I start? I don't know where to start. Ah, oh, just wherever. Here, can you see me? I'm on the floor. I didn't really know how to set up my laptop so that I could, like, use my hands. <laughs> I, tr I made this very, like, complex contraption to set the... Whatever. Let's see how this goes. Um, I still feel like I'm really... I feel like I'm so short. I feel small. All right. Um. Wild. <gasps> oh, my God. I love Oscar Wilde. You guys know that, though. Okay, I'm going to start with the Oscar Wilde quote because I'm a weak-ass bitch for Smosker. So, um, okay. They ballroom dance in the street, no fear of cars, no fear at all, and Harry twirls Louie. He twirls him until he's dizzy with motion and drink and laughter, and the stars swirl as he gazes up at them. Put out the torches, Harry suddenly quotes, staring upward as well, once they finally stop to regain their balance, stumbling where they stand. Hide the moon, hide the stars. My favorite. One of my favorite quotes. Not my favorite quote. One of my favorite quotes. Um, wild, Louis offers, though it's not really a question anymore. Harry just smiles. They continue to stare up at the sky, Louis still dizzy, still a little out of breath. Hey, Louis Tomlinson, Harry suddenly asks, spitting the calm. Splitting the calm. <laughs> I was gonna say. Ew. Why do I do... Ugh. Anyways. Yeah? A beat of silence. Wanna race? A smirk twitches Louis's lips. Where to? That bridge, Harry points, his eyes mischievous. Louis grins once before sprinting away in a frenzy, not even bothering to reply. That's cheating, he hears Harry laugh from behind him, but he doesn't stop, just runs and runs as fast as his polished Oxfords will carry him. Louis wins, of course. He reaches the bridge long before Harry does. He thinks Harry might have fallen down at some point, but he doesn't comment on the mud that streaks his legs. And pummels his chest in victory, Harry laughing hysterically as he reaches him, watching him in glistening delight. I win, Harry sings songs teasingly, and Louis lunges for him, but he darts away too quickly. The air is cold as Louis sucks it into his lungs, as he bends over to catch his breath, hands propped on his knees. Hey, Louis Tomlinson, Harry says again, a giggle dancing on the edge of his words. Louis fights the urge to roll his eyes. Yeah? Want to know a secret? He looks up at Harry, who is currently grinning like a fool, eyes outshining the stars. All right. Harry grins wide at that. Why do I do <laughs> This is really hard. I'm tired. Okay, anyways. Harry grins wider at that, beckons Louis forward with his finger. Really, Louis sighs, but he's smiling, is already walking towards him. We're completely alone. You can't just tell me. It's a secret, Harry insists, but his grin is still growing, his skin flushed with inebriation, and his expression bright with youth. All right, then. Lay it on me, Louis replies in full exasperation, settling hands on his hips impatiently. Harry beams, pulls Louis in by the back of his neck, and presses his mouth against Louis's ear. The moon knows, is what he says, breath colored in liquor and a smile. Louis stares at him. What are you talking about? Another manic grin from Harry, and then he pulls him in again, his hand traveling to the side of Louis's face, cradling his cheek. The moon knows that we're in love. And Louis pauses at that, his entire body and physical process is pause, because Harry has never said he loves Louis. He's implied it, his eyes have whispered it, but he's never said it, and did he, did he just sort of maybe say it? 
What? He begins, dizzy, his veins filling, but Harry steps even closer, continues to whisper even lower. I'm in love with you, Louis Tomlinson, Harry says, curls the words in Louis's ear, and when Louis pulls back to look at him, his gaze is dazed and soft, grinning with freedom and the recklessness of inebriation. Fond. And this belongs to you, he continues in his low, rumbling volume, as he places Louis's hand over his heart and presses it there, holds it there with his cool fingers clasped around Louis's wrist. It's yours, and yours to keep, and nobody deserves to know, because nobody else matters. Boom. I don't know. I wrote that? I don't remember writing that. I don't think I wrote that. What does Louis say? Now I'm like, I'm kind of like reading it. I'm like, hey, Harry Styles. And then Harry breaks into a wider grin, shuffles closer, still whispers, what? I love you too, he shouts. Wow. Then they scream in the streets. I kind of remember that part, actually. Because I remember being like, that's really cliche, Claire. Don't do that. And then I was like, I'm going to do it. Because <laughs> that's me. So yeah, I hope that worked. Six minutes of me just kind of rambling and s saying bullshit. I might go to walk now and enjoy my last my last glimpse and chance of seeing the eclipse. Um, but yeah, I don't know. If you ever need me to read things for you for whatever reason, that's fine. I'll do it. I have no qualms. So yeah, I hope that was what you wanted to hear. Maybe I'll make audiobooks. No one would want to hear my voice. <laughs> no one would want that. Except me. I would want that because I like to hear my voice. And that's not entirely true. It's kind of true. Alas, I'm talking in circles. So I'll go now. Love you a lot. You're cool. Wild with me. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, for real. Bye. Hope that worked. Love you. Bye.